factors and multiples extremely important for all aptitude exams students who are preparing for cat and other management exams students who are preparing for bank exams students who are preparing for bank exams students who are preparing for ssc exams students who are preparing for crt campus recruitment training which is nothing but placement related students who are preparing for law examination students who are preparing for gre or gmat entrance exam where number system is a part of it all entrance exams where all entrance exams wherever number system is a part of it this class will be useful this class will be useful for multiple entrance exams before i start the point ensure that the best way to learn from my class is please sit with the notebook and a pen or a pencil kindly do not take images and think that you have understood it and you will revise it morning also i said this and i will repeat it the best way to learn mathematics is through handwritten notes is through handwritten notes kindly ensure that kindly ensure that you listen to the class and keep writing all the important key points all the important key points start writing it right kindly sit with the notebook and a pen or a pencil all the problems are discussed using thematic based learning there is no scope of you getting any doubts in case if you start from the basic concept kindly do not skip the lecture in between see the entire lecture so that you are doubt at the beginning of the class might be discussed at the end of the class see the entire lecture and for maximum output from the lecture please write down the key points in the way you understood it write down the key points in the way you understood it idea is to eliminate the use of pen or a pencil discuss concepts and try to use the fullest power of our brain in case if any new student is watching the video in case in case if you want to get all the class notification this is the number 8296 9890 this is the number 8296989020 8296989020 this is the number kindly whatsapp this number to get all the important class updates all the students who purchased yesterday the new package which has only my new youtube live class videos starting from yesterday students will get a course activated by night 9 o'clock the name of the course will be anil nayar's special youth shortcut videos that course will contains all the youtube live classes taken by me 80 hours of new content will be provided these only for the students who have upgraded the package and we have already touched 237 students who have upgraded the package from the old students we will start the class today's class is on factors and multiples please write down sir non stop 90 to 120 minutes of continuous problem solving now first point factors and multiples entire class is on factors and multiples before i start with the concept let me go through the all the slides so that you will understand exactly what you are going to discuss first we will discuss what is a factor what is a multiple then i will discuss how to find out the number of factors then i will discuss how to find the number of even factors odd factors then i will discuss how to find the number of prime factors and composite factor then i will discuss the factors which are multiples of k it the k could be a prime number or a composite number then i will discuss the factors which are not multiples of k then i will discuss the factors which are perfect square what is the concept in perfect square what is the relationship between perfect square and odd number of factors problems related to number of odd factors for perfect square two problems 
how to find out the factors which are perfect cubes how to find out the factors which are perfect square as well as perfect cube how to find out the factors which are divisible by a number but not divisible by another number another model how many factors are divisible by k but not by x another model how many factors will have factors of the form 2n 2n plus 1 4n plus 2 3n 3n plus 1 3n plus 2 how many factors of a number are not factors for the other number how many distinct factors for a number are co-prime to each other? How many distinct factors these for a smaller number and these for a bigger number? How many factors are common in both the given numbers? Factors common. How many factors are not common in both the numbers? See the kinds of. If three natural numbers are given, how many factors are common to each other? These are the different varieties of questions which we are going to discuss. Any student sitting in the class, if you want to know exactly what we are going to discuss, these are the different concepts which we are going to discuss today. Now, this is the flow of the class. Entire 8 to 10 different models in the number of factors which we are going to discuss. Factors and multiples. Factors and multiples. Listen carefully. Factors and multiples. Factors and multiples. Listen carefully to every important key points that I will discuss. Factors and multiples. If I take a number... If I divide a number by another number, if the remainder is 0, then x is called a, x is a factor of n, x is called as the factor of n, or in other words, n is called the, a multiple of x, n is called a multiple of x, both the ways you can look at it. If a number is divided by another number and the remainder is 0, then x is a factor of n or n is a multiple of x. For example, reminder 1, 12 divided by 3, 12, 12 is nothing but 3 into 4, reminder is 0. So, it is nothing but 3 is a factor of 12, 3 is a factor of 12 or 12 is a multiple of 3 or 12 is a multiple of 3. 12 is a multiple of 3. Right? For example, 6 is there. What are the numbers that will perfectly divide 6? They are nothing but 1. 6 divided by 1, remainder is 0. 6 divided by 2, remainder is 0. 6 divided by 3, remainder is 0. 6 divided by 6, remainder is 0. Similarly, if I take 12, 12 is nothing but 1 will divide 12, 2 will divide 12, 3 will divide 12, 4 will divide 12, 6 will divide 12 and 12 will divide 12. The definition of a factor is, the definition of factor is, if I divide a number by an another number and the remainder is 0, then x is called a factor of n. Then x is called a factor of n or n is called a multiple of x or n is called a multiple of x n is called a multiple of x this is the definition of factor and this is the definition of multiple definition of factor and definition of multiple now first i hope it is clear definition of factor and definition of multiple suppose how to find the number of factors how to find the number of factors introductory question then we will get into the problems how to find the number of factors how to find the number of factors first i will explain through a smaller number then i will take a bigger number suppose if it is 12 what are the factors of 12 factors of 12 are nothing but 1 will divide 12 2 will divide 12 3 will divide 12 4 will divide 12 6 will divide 12 12 will divide 12 
if i decompose 12 as a product of prime bases 26 or 12 23 or 6 so 12 is nothing but 2 square into 3 power 1 as a power of prime bases is nothing but 2 square into 3 power 1 take all the powers of 2 if i take if i take all the powers of 2 if i take all the powers of 2 which is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 all the powers of 3 3 power 0 3 power 1 if each power of 2 is multiplied by each power of 3 i will get one factor please check it out 2 power 0 into 3 power 0 1 into 1 1 1 one. One is a factor of 12 2 power 0 into 3 power 1 1 into 3 3 3 is a factor of 12 2 power 1 into 3 power 0 2 into 1 2 is a factor of 12 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 2 into 3 6 is a factor of 12 Four into one four four is a factor of twelve. Four into three twelve is a factor of twelve. Instead of writing all the numbers which are less than twelve and it gives a reminder zero, best way to find the number of factors is write the number of fact prime fa factorization for twelve. Two square into three power one zero to two total. How many cases we got three. Zero to one total. How many cases we got? Two. What is three? Two is our six. Total six factors are there for twelve. Total six factors are there for twelve. I hope it is clear. Two power zero, two power one, two power two, three power zero, three power one, three two is our six. Total six factors are there. Why we got six? For two power zero, there are two. For two power zero, there are two cases. For for two power zero, there are two cases. Three power zero, three power one. Similarly, for two power one, there are two cases. For two power two, there are two cases. Two plus two plus two is nothing but three into two. Three into two six. I hope the introductory problem is clear. Is it clear? Anybody got doubt in this question? Anybody got doubt in this question? For two power zero, there are two cases. For two power one, there are two cases. For two power two also, there are two cases. Why it is three into two? It is because of fundamental principle of multiplication. Fundamental one event is happening after another event. Fundamental. principle of multiplication fundamental principle of multiplication i hope how to find the number of factors i hope it is clear so answer for this question is six factors answer for this question is six factors answer for this question is six factors 3 plus 3 6 i hope it is clear now let us discuss right let us discuss one more problem right arvind reddy you can discuss with me after the class this is the number i request you to call me after the class you can directly speak to me 80500678918080500678918 right now one more example suppose 360 is there 360 is there 360 is nothing but 8 into 9 into 5 8 is nothing but 2 cube 9 is nothing but 3 square this is 5 power 1 2 cube into 3 square into 5 power 1 so how many cases 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 traditional method 3 power 0 3 power 1 3 power 2 5 power 0 5 power 1 first there are four cases second there are three cases second there are two cases 12 into 2 total 24 factors 24 factors write the number as a power of prime bases 
राइड द नंबर एज ए पावर ऑफ प्राइम बेसिस राइड द नंबर एज ए पावर ऑफ प्राइम बेसिस राइड द नंबर एज ए पावर ऑफ प्राइम बेसिस इंट्रोडक्टरी क्वेश्चन जीरो टू थ्री फोर जीरो टू टू थ्री जीरो टू वन टू introductory question write the number as a power of prime basis now with this understanding let us get into problem solving problem solving first question first question read the first question find the number of factors find the number of factors for 6 power 4 into 15 square find the number of factors for 6 power 4 into 15 square Write the number as a power of prime basis. Six is a composite number. It is derived from two prime numbers two and three. Two into three power four. Fifteen is a composite number. It is derived from two prime bases three into five. So this is nothing but two power four into three power four into three square into five square, which is nothing but two power four into 3 power 6 into 5 square i hope it is clear how many factors are there for this number 2 power 4 i will get 5 cases 3 power 6 that i will get 7 cases 0 to 2 i will get 3 cases 5 7s are 35 35 3s are 105 factors are there how many factors are there for this number 105 those students who join little late why it will be 5 because i will get all the powers of 2 from 0 to 4 why it will be 7 because i will get all the powers of 3 from 0 to 6 why i will get 3 i will get all the powers of 5 from 0 to 2 0 to 4 there will be 5 cases 0 to 6 7 cases 0 to 2 3 cases one event powers of 3 is taken after the powers of 2 so one event is happening after another event one event is happening after another event after other event so it is nothing but fundamental principle of multiplication fundamental principle of multiplication fundamental principle of multiplication fundamental principle of multiplication find the number of factors i hope it is clear how to find the number of factors this is a concept one how to find the number of factors for this number but in these factors there are even factors there are odd factors there are prime factors there are composite factors there are perfect square factors there are non perfect square factors everything we will go 100 feet down find the number of factors answer is 105 second one If n is nothing but two power five, what is n given? N is nothing but already it is given in prime basis. Two power five into three power four into five square. Find the total number of even factors. First important keyword is it is an even factor. What do you mean by an even factor? Factor which is an even number. factor which is an even number factor which is an even number factor which is an even number any even number will be of the form 2k so 2 into what is remaining 2 power 4 already from 2 power 5 1 power of 2 is taken from 3 power 4 nothing is taken 3 power 4 remaining is 5 square any even number will be of the form 2k so 1 power of 2 is taken 1 power of 2 is taken so 1 power of 2 is taken remaining is 2 power 4 there is no restriction on 3 and 5 so all these numbers all these numbers are multiplied by 2 therefore it became an even factor any number multiplied by 2 it becomes an even number so the numbers which are multiplied by 2 in this case are 2 power 4 into 3 power 4 into 5 square so we want the even factors for this number 2 power 4 means 0 to 4 5 cases 0 to 4 5 cases 0 to 2 3 cases 5 5s are 25 25 threes are 75 answer for this question is 
answer for this question is 75 what is the important keyword in this question it is an even factor what do you mean by an even factor factor which is an even number why i wrote it is of the form 2k i wrote it of the form 2k because any even number will be of the form 2k any even number will be of the form 2k i hope it is clear second concept find the total number of factors total factors total factors will be there are two ways to look at this question method one method one it is nothing but total factors total factors minus total number of even factors total factors minus total number of even factors it is nothing but total number of odd factors total factors minus total number of even factors is nothing but total number of odd factors total factors is nothing but 0 to 5 6 0 to 4 5 0 to 2 3 from where we got 0 6 2 power 0 to 2 power 5 from where we got 5 3 power 0 to 3 power 4 from where we got 3 5 power 0 to 5 power 2 minus total how many even factors we got 15 6 5s are 30 33 is are 90 90 minus 75 answer is nothing but answer is nothing but 15 i hope it is clear find the total number of odd factors this is method 1 i will explain method 2 also odd factors odd factors suppose if i want an odd number odd number is nothing but total numbers minus total number of even numbers total numbers minus total number of even numbers odd factors is nothing but total factors minus total number of even factors total factors is 90 even factors is nothing but 75 90 minus 75 is 15 90 minus 75 is 15. I hope it is clear. Method 2. Even factors we got it as 75. Find the total number of odd factors. Method 2. What do you mean by an odd factor? Odd factor means factor which is not divisible by 2. Any number which is not divisible by 2 this is called an odd number any factor which is not divisible by 2 it is nothing but an odd factor not divisible by 2 n equivalent to 2 power 5 into 3 power 4 into 5 square it is not divisible by 2 don't only take 2 power 0 remaining 2 power 1 to 2 power 5 all are divisible by 2 so there is one case so 0 to 4, 5 cases, 0 to 2, 3 cases, 5 into 3 into 1, what will be the answer for this question, 15, one method is negation method, total factors minus factors which are even numbers, another method is understanding the definition of an odd number, odd number, odd number will be a number which is never odd number will be a number which is never divisible by 2 odd number will be a number which is never divisible by 2 which is never divisible by 2 so 2 power 5 into 3 power 4 into 5 square eliminate the powers of 2 3 power 4 0 to 4 5 0 to 2 3 so 5 into 3 answer will be 15 point number 2 first concept we discussed total number of factors in the second slide we discussed how to find the number of even factors how to find the number of odd factors i hope the idea is clear third question third one every slide one one variety n equivalent to n is given as 2 power 5 into 3 power 4 into 5 square this is the number find the total number of prime factors for n prime factors please put a star mark prime factors prime factors what do you mean by a prime factor prime factor is nothing but 
factors which are prime numbers 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 what do you mean by composite factors what do you mean by composite factors composite factors means factors which are composite numbers factors which are factors which are composite numbers which are composite numbers prime factors and composite factors factors which are composite numbers are called composite factors factors which are composite numbers factors which are prime numbers factors which are prime numbers here the definition of a prime number is very important a prime number is a number which is only divisible by one and itself prime factors what is the number given 2 power 5 into 3 power 4 into 5 square let me take all the powers of 2 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 2 power 4 2 power 5 3 power 0 3 power 1 3 power 2 3 power 3 3 power 4 5 power 0 5 power 1 and 5 power 2 what is that we require we require prime factors 4 is a composite number 8 is a composite number composite number 9 is a composite number composite number composite number here 1 1 1 what is an important point 1 is neither prime nor composite number 1 is neither prime nor composite 1 is neither prime nor composite 1 is neither prime nor composite so this is eliminated how many prime factors we got 2 power 1 2 power 1 3 power 1 2 power 1 3 power 1 and 5 power 1 2 power 1 3 power 1 and 5 power 1 so first one answer is nothing but 3 First one answer is nothing but a 3. I hope it is clear. What do you mean by a prime factor? A prime factor is a factor which is a prime number. What is the definition of a prime number? A prime number should only be divisible by 1 and itself. But if I take all the powers of 2, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square, 4 is divisible by 1, 2 and 4. 8 is divisible by 1, 2, 4 and 8. 16 is divisible by 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Right? So, all these are eliminated. All these are eliminated because these are all composite numbers. These are all composite numbers. I hope it is clear. Another important point is 1 is neither prime nor composite. Idea is clear. So, total prime factors is nothing but total number of prime bases. How many prime bases are there? That many prime factors only I will get it. Total number of prime factors is nothing but total number of prime bases. Total there are three different prime bases 2, 3 and 5. Total number of prime factors is nothing but total number of prime bases. Total number of Prime factors is nothing but total number of prime bases. Another important point. The structure you will not get it in the regular classes sir. 1 plus 1 is neither prime nor composite. 1 plus prime factors plus composite factors. 1 plus prime factors plus composite factors. This is nothing but total factors. If I want the total factors, see it is simple like this sir. How to calculate the number of natural numbers? 
natural numbers are nothing but prime numbers plus composite numbers how to find out the total factors one is neither prime nor composite there are only three cases number should be prime number should be composite number should be neither prime nor composite one plus prime factor plus composite factor is nothing but total factors what do we require in the second question so first one answer we got it as three total prime factors is nothing but total number of prime bases total number of prime bases total number of prime bases so composite factors composite factors is nothing but total factors minus of 1 plus prime factors minus of 1 plus prime factors total factor c is 2 power 5 6 cases 3 power 4 5 cases 5 square 3 cases minus of 1 plus prime factor c is 3 33 is are 90 90 minus 4 90 minus 4 is nothing but 86 how many prime factors are there for this number? 86. First we discussed how many factors are there. Then we discussed how many even factors are there. Then we discussed how many odd factors are there. Then we discussed how to find out the total number of prime factors and also total number of composite factors. Remember this point, 1 plus prime factor plus composite factor is total factors. Why we are adding prime composite plus 1? One? 1 is neither prime nor composite. 1 is neither prime nor composite. I hope the third question is clear. Mm -hmm.